Hi, Mr. Coisey here. Now, in the first video of this series, we explored the interpolation extension and explained how it worked. And if you followed that video, you would understand why two seemingly identical diagrams like this yield different results using that extension. So let's demonstrate. So we go to extensions, interpolate, and we'll go back to the 20 steps in between. Interpolation method 2, exponent should be 0 and we'll duplicate the end pass. Everything else should be unchecked. And let's select the first diagram lines and we'll apply the extension to that. So there's the result. Let's now select the two lines in this diagram and apply the interpolation extension to that. And there's two completely different results. And if you watch the first video, you'd realise that the two initial lines in this example, this line, had first and second nodes. This line had first and second nodes. And this diagram we had first and second nodes, but this line had first node on the left, second node on the right, which gave the typical curve stitching pattern. So let's get rid of all these and let's look at this basic unit. Now in the previous video we combined this basic unit in one way. Let's do it in a slightly different way. I'm now duplicating and rotating clockwise 90 degrees. Let's do that again. Duplicate, rotate 90 degrees, and finally duplicate once again, rotate 90 degrees. Now at this stage I'm thinking these lines look slightly too thick. Let's click the stroke down here, stroke style, pixels 2, and we'll change that to 1. That looks slightly better. Now, there is an alternative way of creating this diagram using the polygon tool. So let's click that. Make sure you're on the regular polygon, that the corners are set to 4, and everything else is at 0. And holding the control key down to guarantee we get a horizontal and vertical alignment, let's create a square roughly the same size as the one we have. Now this square that we've created is known as an object, but the interpolate extension only works on paths. So we first of all have to change this object into a path. And we do that by going to the path menu and selecting the object to path. Now nothing appears to happen, but if we use the nodes tool, we can now see that there is a path with four nodes. Pressing the tab key once shows us that the first node is in the top left hand corner. Tap again, next node is there, and the third node, and then the fourth node. So that's the node order. Let's duplicate that and let's rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. Again, use the nodes tool. This time press tab. You'll notice the first node has moved to the right. Second node, third node and fourth node. And remember when the extension uh, interpolate is used on two paths, first node maps to first node, second node, maps to second node, and so on. And that will ensure that we now do get the string art pattern that we see on the left. So I've selected both of these paths, extension, generate from path, interpolate, and we'll apply that. And sure enough, there we have identical pattern to the left pattern. So we can now grab hold of this pattern and remove it, we can see the original two squares have been left intact. Let's delete all these 
And this pattern, as we did in the first video, we can combine this in various ways. Here's one of them. Let's duplicate that. And assuming that this snap button is grayed, that should snap together. We can duplicate both of these and then snap it together. And we get our other pleasing pattern. Let's group all that together and let's use the rotation tool. Now, first of all, you have to be aware that there's different set rotations. Uh, this is when we press the control key and use rotations. And the preferences, if we go to the behavior menu, steps, rotation snaps. Now, 22.5 degrees, half of 45. That's a good one to use when we're dealing with the square. So make sure it's set to 22.5 degrees. Here's our pattern. Let's duplicate it. Get the rotation handles. Hold the control key down. And there's a rotation of 45 degrees, giving a nice effect. Let's zoom out slightly. Let's grab all of that and again group, duplicate, and this time we'll rotate by 22.5 degrees. And there we have another stunning design. Let's try and make the lines thinner than they are, pixels, let's do 0 0.5, and that shows the intricacy of the design. So in the next video of this series, I'll be using the Pentagon as the base to develop further techniques to produce even more stunning patterns. So that's Mr. Corsi signing out, and I hope you enjoyed the video.